Now, the image in the center is very useful because I want you to think as your fascia, as your birthday suit. <laughs> it's the organ of form. And those two images on the side is actually fascia when magnified times 25. It looks like cobwebs. So it's literally the cobwebs that make you who you are. Now, fascia is an interesting thing. Another reason that it's been summarily ignored, even in modern day medicine, is guess what? Fascia does not show up in MRIs, X-rays, or CT scans. So imagine someone's having an issue and they're getting some imaging done, and I'm not gonna argue that their images are showing possible stenosis, bone on bone, et cetera. That is true, but there's another big piece of the puzzle that's simply being ignored. Can you imagine getting a diagnosis and treatment based on seriously incomplete data? That, it does not sound like a good equation, does it? Now, some other fun fascia facts. Fascia has six to 10 times more sensory nerves than a muscle. If you've ever had really, really bad muscle soreness after a serious workout, I mean, the next two days, you're kind of walking funny. This is some pretty high-level pain, right? But the good news is, A, that's actually healthy, it's adaptation, and it goes away. Can you imagine that pain magnified times six or 10 times? And how about it doesn't go away, hence chronic. And if anyone in this room has ever had their back go out on them, their knee buckle, their neck go out on them, you know exactly what kind of pain I'm talking about. And some people that we work with, they're walking in, how long has this been going on? Three months, six months, a year, three years, and very often and sadly so, two decades, three decades, oh, let me think about it. So the good news is that fascia can give people like that a way out. And right now, I'm going to give you that visual demonstration that I promised in order to make sense of all of this so you can understand how it's affecting you right now. So allow me to introduce my colleague, Cody Williams, who is a structural therapist at Sterling Structural Therapy. But today, good, please giggle and whistle for the love of, yes, good. For today, Cody is Monsieur Fascia, okay? And I'm going to torture him and give him all sorts of fascia restrictions. Uh, now, before I do, Cody's fascia suit is healthy. And notice the cobwebs, right? They're doing well, right? So he can lift his arms, he can move, he can go hike. Um, he can go play tennis. He can, do what, he can tie his shoes, no pain, okay? No problem. I'm about to change that. So I'm going to give Cody a myofascia restriction at his right rib cage and armpit. And if you can already see, he's already having to adapt a little bit against this. Good. So now, Cody, go ahead and try to lift both arms up for me. And we're going to just, woo, good. Okay. So can you see that his range of motion is restricted, restricted right now? Really try to lift them up higher, Cody. Okay. Now, drop them back down because, ow, that's not fun. Now, this makes sense, right? You can imagine how this is going to create this restriction. Did you notice what happened at his left shoulder over here? Uh-huh, yeah? So go ahead, lift both of them again. A fascial restriction here is causing some serious range of motion issues over here. Now let's drop that down. 